Hi there, it's me, Holly, also known as Just Me, and today I would like to show a new feature added to OS Memory Toolkit. But first, a little backstory. Um, there is this cool program called OS Stream Companion, which streamers can use to show information on their stream overlay. Um, you will see a lot of popular um, OS streamers use this program because it can show current playing song, uh, difficulties, like uh, approach rate, over difficulty, um, circle size, and the other thing which I forgot right now um, and it allows to all show all these things automatically without you having to do anything manually like typing in the song name every time you play a song which nobody's gonna do honestly um, basically it looks it's uh, open source on this on um, GitHub by the way so you can download it it's pretty cool um, it looks a bit like this and it is pretty advanced, has a lot of things. For example, it can also show click counter. Uh, it has some memory reading to get the current mods, however, that's kind of not working right now. Uh, it writes all the things to disk, so you can use use uh, OBS with file source, I think, uh, to show all these. Uh, if I switch on, there you go. Uh, it, sh it can s show a lot of information. Um, and also like show mods like the images and stuff um, however that doesn't really work the mods but oh well it's a really cool program uh, yeah uh, it has some downsides though first of all if there's multiple maps with the same name uh, the program would g get confused because let me show you um, if we the settings like somewhere in here ah fuck it whatever um, for example, two songs with exactly the name artist, title, and difficulty name, uh, then would get com it would get confused and not know what to do, which is because it's... Oops, wrong button. Okay, because it's um, it's using this MSN live status display, so it's basi basically acting as MSN, so OS would send the data to the program, and it then parses it, so it basically sends like playing like this would be various nice core dash jump training and a difficulty name um, like this uh, the problem is that also if there is like a weird checker in there for example an extra dash or an extra opening square brackets closing square brackets um, would also probably choke on it and fail um, also it cannot get everything for example it can't get mods anymore because that's now obfuscated in memory um, and there's also some other stuff it can get like your current health if you would want to display it um, and stuff like that uh, now I made my own version to basically try filling those gaps um, that this leaves uh, it's by no means meant to be a replacement because uh, I don't want to de keep developing on this to make it perfect uh, right now it's not super reliable. I could make it super reliable probably, but I'm too lazy. Uh, so yeah, let me show you. If I just open it up, and you can see currently it's in the main menu. Like OS is in the main menu. Uh, in the main me menu there's not much to show besides maybe the current playing song, which I could get, but I was again too lazy because it's like static variable in a, s in a non-static class and then blah blah blah. Slow to get. Um, uh, yeah, right now I just like show the current, uh, like this thing and the current menu tip, which is at the bottom, which you can't see right now. Um, this is just to show that I can now get uh, text sprites from memory. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, if you go into song selects, it tells you it's in, you're in song selects and it shows information on the current map, such as artists. A title and all that stuff which map guy basically it's actually all this information um, you can show this in your stream overlay It'd be interesting information but all this is stuff that um, stream companion can get as well now if I start playing a song uh, let's pause this if you look in here um, basically it shows you what you're currently playing with map by blah 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 all the stuff you already know then also the hit hit range uh, so if you want to get a uh, 300, you would have to be within 38 milliseconds, like positive and negative. So that's 
Let me count. 76 milliseconds in total. The, the range you can hit. And then you have, uh, for 100, you need 84 milliseconds. So times 2, so that, would, that would be 168. And then 130 for um, 50. If you are over 130 from 0, then you would miss. Uh, also, the hit object radius in OS pixels. So OS pixels are determined by the playfield. The playfield is 512 by 386 OS pixels. So this would be about a tenth in height. Uh, also, the, an HP bar. So if I play, you can see this go up and down. So yeah, this, this goes up and down as you could, ju could just see. Uh, an accuracy, which is more precise than the one in-game. Uh, also, it displays the actual accuracy right now, not the displayed one. Because um, this one is like s smooth, it doesn't jump about. Uh, uh, yeah, now it's the same as you can see. Uh, for the displays the score. Yeah, score. Um, displays amount of 300s you got, 100s you got, 50s, geekies, katus, and misses. And also display it your max combo. Right now I uh, combo broke, so it doesn't display that, but I could make it display the current combo. In fact, it's like one extra line, I think. Yeah, let me think. Yeah, I uh, that's one extra line. Um, so yeah, it displays all this information. I could make it display more, because I literally have access to anything in RAM. Um, so I could display it, make it display anything I want. And then write it to a file and use it with OBS, which is currently re recording, as you can see. OBS. Ooh. Uh, I could make it show that on uh, on the stream. I might make a video later showing it off, showing it in action. Uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it to show about it. Um, so it's basically a more I would say more reliable version of OStream Companion. However, it sometimes crashes. I've just added a bunch of try catches in here. As you can see, um, a bunch of try catches. Uh, just in case it like crashes, it wouldn't like close the program. It would just like next frame it would update with proper information. Um, yeah, it's basically. Um, that's not a replacement for a stream companion, but it tries to, I guess. Um, yeah, I think it's a pretty cool program. It shows off what I can do with uh, my internal API that I made. And um, yeah, now there is I can't really use this as I said before because I use this library, which can be used for sheeting. And if I re release it, it would be open source, and it would explain the way I do it, which Peppy might then patch and all that stuff, which is not fun. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it about the stream companion. Now, last video I made was about dumping replays from memory. Uh, I've thought about it for a bit. It's definitely possible to do without this library and without writing the replay files myself. But it would requ require DLL, DLL injection, executing methods from memory, um, hard coding offsets, uh, memory offsets and all that stuff. If you don't understand it, that's fine. Basically means it's a lot of work and I would have to research a bunch of stuff. Uh, it's definitely possible, but it would probably break with every update. Uh, I may do it. I may, maybe I wouldn't. Uh, I definitely wouldn't give lifetime support for it if I ever release a public version uh, of the memory dumper thing. Um, but maybe I do, maybe I'll do it. It's not for the very near f future, at least. Um, yeah, that's it for today, I think. I hope you enjoyed. Um, last video was very well received. Um, unlike some of my other videos, which were a bit controversy controversial. Sorry. Um, yeah, that's it for today. Uh, well, um, that's basically OS Memory Toolkit um, with Stream Companion. And yeah, that's it. Goodbye. Okay,